you all in, in Virginia. Um, I've done pretty much all parts of Virginia, but this is my first time to Newport News. Oh, okay. And um, I guess we'll just start by kind of telling you a little bit about our writing journey, about the books, and then, of course, take any questions that you may have. And I um, guess we'll patch you start off with how you got in this industry. Okay, well, um, I started out as a self-published author, and for those of you who may not be familiar with that, that just means that basically I had been writing for a number of years, and I believed in my story, believed that I had a great story, and thought that all of you, my audience, the, the people that I write for, would enjoy the story. Unfortunately, no publisher in America thought it was a good story because they continued to send rejection letter after rejection letter after rejection letter. So probably after about two years of getting constant rejection letters, I think they had it like on, on an automated system where every <laughs> Thursday this one would send a rejection letter, then every Friday they just kind of took turns sending rejection letters to me. So after getting that for a couple of years and just getting really tired of it, I just decided to take matters into my own hands, prayed about it, and then convinced my husband that he should help me to invest in my own publishing company. And so that is how I started. I self-published my first novel and um, sold the first novel pretty much out of the back of the car, out of the trunk, out of, you know, the garage, at work, wherever. I'd sell at a baby shower, <laughs> wherever, <laughs> wherever, it didn't matter. Just trying to get the word out about the book circulating. Um, after doing that for about a year or so, um, I went to a book convention and um, targeted a small imprint and decided to pitch some stuff to them. I'm a pretty prolif prolific writer, meaning that I write pretty fast, and so um, I didn't have anything that would fit their lineup, so I went home and wrote something specifically for them and wind up signing a two book deal with them that basically lasted a few years and turned into, um, I think I did nine, eight or nine books with them when it was all said and done. Um, the relationship didn't work out, obviously we kind of outgrew each other and uh, I then left there and wrote this story and wrote this story and got an agent and the story just kind of sat for a little while, sat for a little while and then finally obviously got into the right hands because Zane has an imprint with Simon & Schuster that finally picked it up and um, this is the story that you see here today. So my journey to publishing, to being a published author, because I've been writing all my life, I'm a journalist by trade, so from 9 to 5 I write and then after I put my husband and the kids to bed, I write some more. So I tell people that, you know, I've, I've been writing from the day I learned how to write and then was fortunate and blessed enough to be able to earn a living writing. Um, and basically, I still continue to write. Um, I have another book coming out under this contract and then, of course, writing some more books in the future. But that was basically my journey to where I am now. Yeah. 